Yep, um, watched the game. Um, we got in a bit late, but um, we saw pretty much the first, uh, last, or I saw the last from uh, 10 minutes in. So, um, yeah, it was a huge game and a um, you know, huge result for Australia. It was um, obviously pretty sad for England and you could see how much it meant to the players and stuff. And, you know, you got to feel for them and their fans. And um, But, yeah, Aussie, Aussie really um, played very well. Yeah, but what are going to be the, the key phrases, the key things that you guys have got to get to right? Well, I think uh, I think execution will be one of those things. You know, being able to make sure we uh, look after the ball really well. I think there's a couple of times that we uh, turned over the ball and they were they were like uh, they were easy turnovers, uh, where there was like um, going out on the sideline or uh, just spilling the ball. I think being able to look after the ball better gives us a better chance to build some pressure. Is it a positive though that across the three games you've worked on different things? They may have worked, they may not have, but you've got. You've been working on those things. You've got one game left. Yeah, well, we've, we're winning, which is always good, and that's the that's the plan in the end. Make sure that we have one more point than them, and um, yeah, I guess so. It's been um, it's been really exciting, and just the, I like getting the plan, and it makes you sort of wonder how to how to get it out on the park, and who do I need to talk to to make it easier for me, and all those kind of things. So um, yeah, I guess I'm pretty excited to see what the plan is for the next game if we're. So when yeah, that comes out. quite a challenge for you, different for you in this World Cup. That you're using these three games to build almost. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it would be just pretty much like we said before, just trying to get better each week and um, trying to adjust as quickly as we can. Uh, obviously, the the styles of the team we've played have been uh, quite different. So um, I think Nagi touched on it. It's uh, knowing what we've got to do out there and then having to adjust quickly uh, for what we actually encounter so see we see a lot of footage and how things are played and then actually getting to do it against teams that might change on the day or adjust we need to do that better yes um yeah it was that no, was a bit of a shock because i still had tj perinara sitting next to me so i thought i didn't have to worry about that but yeah look i just thought it was one of those what ifs that um was like, was going to come so luckily I thought about it earlier in the week and when it came um, just needed to talk a little bit more to Bender than he probably would have liked but um, no it was good good to have those comms out there and uh, no it was, it was good fun.